Alrighty, time to open an Ikoria Collector Booster. Let's see what's in this supercharged booster experience for people who are 13 plus. It's probably anyone who can afford a collector booster. Okay, so here's what that looks like as opposed to regular booster foil. It has been supercharged, I suppose, in that it's orange instead of red. 15 card collector booster. You need to have some weird stuff in it. Like okay, shiny cat token with lifelink. That is an adorable cat token, by the way. Not sure how well it's getting picked up, but that art is great. Uh, double sided with generic shiny human. Actually, he's a human soldier, not too generic. Ooh, shiny forbidden friendship, forbidden romance. It happens in the exotic orchard. Stays in the exotic orchard. Serrated scorpion. It's kind of a cool die trigger for a one mana. There you go. Now you can read it. Protoceratops. Put a counter on it. Probably not worth including a heavily non-creature deck though. At times. Um, I mean, that is some sweet art on that Jungle Hollow, and I like the foil, but Jungle Hollow is not my favorite card on the whole, but maybe I'll put it in a jank deck somewhere. Oh, it's a fairy dragon. Same thing. Non-creature spell buffing by creature. Will of the All Hunter. Pretty cool foil. If it's blocking, it gets counters. If it's attacking, it gets temporary. Hmm. Neat forests. Shiny, shiny forest. Oh, Dismantling Wave. This is a Commander Precon card. That's pretty cool that they include some of those. This is a solid, I mean, three mana for each opponent destroy up to one. That's a good include. Uh, the Cycling... Uh, is expensive in the non cares about cycling deck, but you never know. It's good to have modal stuff. Ooh, I got some nice just sky things in my pre release kit, which I also have a video of going up. But I, I do like this. Not a huge fan of the way they do these borders where it's like airbrushed over the border, um, as opposed to some of the full art ones, you know, have like that clean crop line like the to full art tokens do. I definitely prefer clean lines just aesthetically. But I do like this card in general, so I'm happy to have it. Oh, the old ooze companion. Sharing a card type. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I could ever make a deck like that, but if I do, I suppose I have a foil umami. Okay, alternate art foxbird. Having a chat with a bee. Mutate, get a counter. Becomes a flyer. Seems strictly okay. Elemental bird. Mutate to draw a card. Good effect, high mana cost for a set effect. Phoenix is the rare. When it mutates, make a feather to return it from a graveyard in the battlefield tapped. But yeah, then I have to mutate it again, so it would be fine in a mutate heavy deck, I suppose, but by itself. King Caesar, the ancient guardian. Pretty sure two of my friends got these as their box topper from buying a box. Not sure how thrilled they were about that, but it's cool to have Godzilla. And a Cavern Whisperer Foil Common. Mutate do mean things. This was a very mutate heavy collector booster. Uh, but in general, how many of these have cares about mutates? Just the, all the last ones, I guess, wasn't all that heavy to begin with, but 
Okay, roll one to thought I'm happy with. I don't know actually no card values, so maybe some of these worth something, but I'll play with some of them and that's even better. All right. Thanks for watching.